My name's Tracy Stewart, a Year 5 teacher at Ripple Primary School and this is my lesson on becoming a junior electrician. The objective of the lesson is to design and make a circuit for a purpose. So what we've been doing for the last couple of science lessons is having a look back at our uh, work on circuits and we've been trying to make circuits with different things in them. We created this lesson um, so that it would fit at the end of the scheme of work on electricity so the children can pull together all of their knowledge and understanding that they've gained through, throughout the lessons in the unit and put it into a context. Who can tell me something that we've made in our circuit work by using electricity? Yeah. We have um, made a buzzer work. Can you think of anything else? And a light bulb. Good, well done. So at the beginning of the lesson, uh, the children are uh, introduced to the electrician's toolbox. I gave them a few minutes at the beginning just to have a look in the box because whenever there's something new, um, the children always want to uh, dive into it and touch it and see what it is. OK, so everybody's ready for their first task to earn their certificate. I decided to use the uh, certificate as a bit of an incentive. Uh, the children seem to really like to have to uh, earn something or win something, uh, a bit of an element of uh, competition in it. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a series of tasks for me and then you're going to solve a problem and if you manage to do all of that then you're going to earn one of these junior electrician certificates. So when I say go, I've put the timer up on the board, you've got two minutes. We need a circuit that will power a light bulb. Go. <laughs> We do the section at the beginning with uh, the two minutes. I get them to build a series circuit with a light bulb and then one with a buzzer and then with one with two light bulbs, just as a refresher of what we've done over the unit and to make sure that they're able to build the circuit that they'll need once they uh, start designing their burglar alarm. And we do it just a couple of minutes so that they, they can work quickly to keep the lesson pacey so they've got longer to work on the problem solving element. So what I want you to do now, I'm going to give you 15 minutes in your group to start with, is see if you can think of a circuit we could use as a burglar alarm. I think this is a great lesson because there's no one way of solving the problem of building a burglar alarm. Um, I've done the lesson a few times and there's always a different way that I haven't seen before. We've had uh, trip wires setting off an alarm and welcome mats where the burglar stands on the mat and sets the alarm off. But the children can interpret the problem in their own way and draw upon all of the experience they've had in the previous lessons. Let's um, hear some ideas um, from each group that we've got so far. Um, Afnan. With the string, you tie it on the floor so when a burglar comes, it will walk and as it goes on this and falls down, the buzzer would go on. If um, a burglar is coming in and then they open the door, well, um, they're, gonna, um, they're going to like, open um, the clip, clip so it makes the um, buzz um, go out and they will know that um, a burglar is coming. OK, 5TS, we've all got lots of ideas, so now it's time to start building. The other way of put on the wall. And the other clip on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we can make this much more. Yeah, so, we, so um, when the um, burglar comes in, you'll we'll yeah. take out the thing. So um, connect it to the battery. And now we need another one, one more wire. Once the children are on to solving the problem and building their circuit, my role really is to go to the groups and uh, I ask them questions to make sure that their understanding is, is sound, uh, make suggestions and sort of steer them in the right direction if they're going off on a tangent. What we need to think of is how to make sure that that stays down, OK? See so if you can have a look. See if you can alter it to make that bit stay down, OK? Good. This lesson can be differentiated in a variety of ways. The group that I was working with today had uh, a big mixed ability, uh, so we, can't, we, do, we all worked on the same task. If it was a higher ability group, uh, we could have some different tasks. They could have a different problem to solve, a different circuit to build, or they could have to include more than one component. So if the alarm went off, they could have a buzzer and a light bulb going off. Um, for the challenges at the beginning, it could be more complicated circuits with two or three components, or or even building into parallel circuits um, and for the low ability children um, I would have put in a lot more support um, in terms of generating the ideas with which switch to use and, and how to start the circuit off. Uh, Fiona explain to me what's going to happen when the burglar comes in. The burglar is going to come in then when he's going to step on this door he's going to go above. 
Right, turn it off then, switch it off. And you've managed to get your one so that it stays on even when the burglar steps off. So our burglar comes creeping in and he stands on the mat and as he walks over it, the buzzer sounds. Good, well done that group.